Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat and today we are checking out the GPD or the Gamepad Digital Micro Laptop, a 7 inch laptop with a full Windows 10 installation. Let's quickly get started. Now the GPD laptop is a 7 inch device which is priced roughly $485 presently and achieved a funding goal of 3.5 million on Indiegogo when it started last year. It is now available and can be bought easily. We'll drop in links to where we bought the GPD from in the description below. So for a price of 485 or roughly 31,000 Indian rupees, is this compact laptop the right laptop for you? Let's quickly find out. As far as the build quality is concerned, the laptop is made out of a solid unibody aluminum shell. It's quite well made and sort of mimics the construction of a MacBook but in a compact form. It does have a whole lot of heft to it which means that the materials used are really high quality and also that it does have a pretty impressive battery in there which we'll talk about in just a second. The hinge on the laptop is also extremely durable. It's rated for a long time of use. We found that the hinge is quite robust and you shouldn't have any problems with it with daily usage. The display is a 7 inch display with a 1920 by 1080 p resolution. It does have a 5 point multi-touch and pretty impressive viewing angles. The chiclet style keyboard is tiny and will accommodate most of uh, your typing needs but if you're planning to use the mouse it is better if you bring a wireless or a wired additional mouse. For ports you do get a USB type C along with a micro HDMI out, headphone combi jack and a full-fledged USB 3 port allowing you to connect accessories and peripherals, USB type C capable of charging the device via a power bank or an external power source which makes this portable laptop even more portable. The device is running an Intel Atom X7 chipset with onboard graphics and you do get 8GB of RAM and 128GB of eMMC storage. For networking capabilities, you do get Wi-Fi AC along with Bluetooth 4.1, but you can connect your dongles, etc. if you want LTE connectivity. The device runs Windows 10 Home out of the box and it seems to run it pretty well for the configuration that it is. It weighs in only 500 grams, which makes it extremely lightweight and really handy with the form factor that it has to carry with you in your backpack or even in a small lady's bag. Now with the kind of chipset and graphics it has, we weren't expecting it to be a hardcore performance hero, but it does manage to play games like Asphalt 8 and some other arcade free games from the Windows Play Store without any problems, making it unusable for high-end gaming if that is what your intention is. Running basic apps like document processing and day-to-day -day usage, including browsing the internet and watching videos is not a problem on the Gamepad Digital. It does have onboard speakers, but I would recommend bringing some headphones if you want to enjoy your video experience. As far as the display is concerned, I would have liked to see slightly more brightness and a slightly better touch response from the screen, but all in all you really can't complain for the size and the form factor of the laptop. The build quality is quite good and like I said the keyboard is usable for most cases of use. But the mouse is a different story altogether, it's that little peg mouse that was used in earlier generation laptops. Of course you can always touch the screen or you can bring a wireless or a bluetooth mouse with you to be able to utilize the I.O. on this device. The battery life from the 7000mAh cell is pretty good as well. It should last you easily 4 hours to 4.5 hours of video playback along with screen on time on this 7 inch machine. You can feel that the device does get a little warm from time to time, especially if you are using it constantly for a long period of time, but it does not really affect any performance and I don't see any throttling in terms of performance from the Intel chipset. What makes the GPD really impressive is the fact that it can be docked onto a standard size keyboard and mouse and then connected via a large display to make it into a more usable desktop machine. Now this will give you a larger screen, the ability to watch videos on a higher format and then also the ability to browse the internet in a better fashion. This will allow you to keep all your information in one place on the GPD and then carry it wherever you go and then use it there. This makes it really portable, really handy for a lot of people, for a lot of college students, for a lot of young professionals who are just starting out. They may not need full-fledged laptops for full-fledged usage and this compact little device can be really handy and can be your own personal laptop on the go, allowing you to get by with your day-to-day -day needs. That being said, if you're looking for something a little more high-end in terms of graphics, in terms of performance, the GPD may not be the laptop for you. Obviously for 30,000 rupees you can get a lot more. You can even build a custom PC which might give you slightly more performance than this. But this is an all-in-one package allowing you to have a full Windows or a full PC installation with you in this compact little form factor. Like I said guys, if you guys are interested in checking out this laptop, I'll leave links to where I bought it from in the description below. If you guys have any further questions about this compact little laptop, do leave them in the comment section below and I might do a follow-up video trying to answer those questions 
questions. That's it for this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to iGyan along with the bell notification icon to get notified each time we upload a new video. This has been Bharat. I'll see you guys in the next one.